Super Earth, our home. Oh, hi there. I got a slight upgrade. It looks since the last time you've seen me. Oh boy, I have a new game to talk about. Helldivers 2. Technically a sequel, but it's in some way a new game. And it's on the table, banging like a church bell. You know what, just look at the trailer and see how it captivates you. Keeping managed democracy safe with the lives of our heroes. Protecting freedom from tyranny with the gentle touch of an iron fist. But liberty's enemies march ever closer. Together, we must take back control of freedom. Together for managed democracy. Together for victory. Together for liberty. Together for liberty. Together, they fight for freedom. It's a live service co-op shooter. And it plays like butter. And the loop is pretty simple. First you collect medals for unlocking weapons and armors. Then it goes to resources which allow you to purchase strat gems and special doohickeys that help you in the battlefield. Afterwards it samples which improve those strat gems. And finally you'll discover eventually super credits which are practically premium currency that you allow yourself unlocking the armors and the special war bonds that add more weapons and armor to your arsenal. Now gameplay of Helldivers 2 is compelling and addictive. I spent at least 50 hours playing, battling enemies with passion. Which I want to address my favorite part about the game. Every weapon in the game has its dopamine spike. For those who enjoy the style I personally have a thing for, which is machine guns, I'll show you this. Reloading! And there's machine guns, as you saw, but there's plenty more guns to try out. From arc, laser, rail guns, assault rifles, there's another machine gun, and plenty more. And I'm pretty sure there's gonna be more coming in. When it comes to the enemies, uh, the variety, well, we have two at the moment bugs and automatons, with a third one on its way. Automatons. This is their robots that have guns and swords. Their fighting style is unique compared to bugs. They mix heavy infantry which is slow and one shots you with light infantry that tries to get close to you and drain your health with light blows. Not to mention their super heavy units like the tank and the dreadnought which is second you see them you gotta run or have an orbit already on them. Terminates. Combination of Starship Trooper bugs with Warhammer Terminates. A very funny bunch to fight specifically. Since uh, the fights are very wavy. That means there's a lot of them and there's only four of you most of the time. Ammo half of the time is missing due to the numbers of enemies you have to fight. And you'll end up running away from them way more than you think you would be standing your ground. Their tactics are basic because the unit uh, variety is pretty small. It's either slightly heavily armed bugs at the front or charges rushing at you and the squishy hunters that just pounce on you and slow you down and just eat you slowly. Technically they're not difficult to fight if you have a somewhat competent team. But if you're playing with complete randoms, which sometimes is a big problem in this game, yeah, you won't go too far on a higher difficulty. This game is very un unforgiving for solo players. Third faction is gonna be in the game. I don't know much about it since I never played Helldivers 1. For me, it's gonna be a surprise. I'm looking forward to it because... Uh, the game after so many hours I've played became a little bit stale, so I'm really much welcoming some fresh new concepts to enhance my experience. Since the game ain't that bad, I would say the grind and repetitiveness will eventually catch up to you, but we all know how to fix that. Just take a break and it's once again gonna be refreshing. So my verdict for Helldivers 2 
is play it. Really decent game. Have fun. But if you have a couple of friends or maybe family members, uh, you know, hop in. You'll enjoy it. Because it's way better with friends rather than just playing with random people. I'm not saying about you guys random out there. Some of you are pretty chad and pretty good at it. But there's some bad batches out there. So yeah, feel free to join the big fight on the global map. And uh, we need to push back those damn automatons and bugs. So see you out there. Maybe. Thermos Jar, out.